here in this question they are asking us to find the potential at point b uh, point e i e current i c current this is i c current and v c e potential difference right to find v b let's start with v b this point so we have to apply potential divider method so potential here it is 10 volt here it's zero volt so the current goes along this and here this ib in electronic questions you should remember ip in this method we consider almost e almost zero so we don't we neglect ib current so we assume six kilo ohms and four kilo ohms are in series so we can apply voltage divider method right then resistance ratio is equal to potential ratio so let's take resistance ratio 6 is to 4 simplified 3 is to 2 right let's take the fractional value 3 divided by 5 2 divided by 5 that multiplied by 10 into 10 so here we get 6 volt here we get 4 volt so 4 kilo ohms will keep 4 volt and this will keep 6 volt so potential here is 0 the difference is 4 the potential at b has to be 4 volt then vb is 4 volt right then moving to ve here we found it as 4 volt right here 4 volt current will flow through this so VB is greater than VE and since this is a silicon diode VBE we know it's 0 0.7 volt we have found VB so VB minus VE equals 0 0.7 volt here 4 minus VE equals 0 0.7 then VE equals 4 minus 0. 7 that is 3.3 volt right now we have ve value right moving into i e right let's write ve we have found is 3.3 volt and current ie now we know the potential here v equals zero so we can apply because IR, V it is 3.3, then IE are 3.3 kilo ohms, 10 to the power 3, then IE 3.3, 3.3 3 .3 cancel off, we get 1 into 10 to the power minus 3, that is 1 milliampere. Right, we have IE. Now moving into finding IC current. So there are a couple of things we need to be clear about this thing ib current we cannot find ib current because no data is given for ib current and one thing we know is ie equals ic plus ib here beta value is also not given beta equals ic over ib and that is also not given right so we have no data to find IB. So what we have to do here is we have to take IB, IC is equal to approximately equal to IE. So now here we have to take IC equals 1 milliampere as well. Right. Moving into VCE last part. VCE potential difference potential difference across c and e right now we have v e that is 3.3 volt and the currents we know ic and ie we know right we need to find vc Right, to find Vc, what we have to do is we have to find the potential difference across these two kilo ohms. So we know the current through it, Ic. So we can apply V equals Ir, I 
one milliampere that is into two kilo ohms so one into ten to the power minus three into two into ten to the power three these two cancel off so it's two volt so here these two kilo ohms will keep two volt so the potential at C it has to be 10 minus 2 that is 8 volt now we can find VCE so VCE equals 8 minus 3.3 that is 4.7 volt right now we have all the values they are asking from us we have uh, VB as 4 volt right we have v as 1 milliampere and we have ic 